Good afternoon, it's Bev at Planet Crochet. This afternoon I'm going to show you how to make pom-poms. So this is a baby hat. Tiny pom-poms. This little blue one. You have two parts. And then medium one. I think that was that one. Not that it matters because I've got four different ones small medium medium and that one there is large so this is a hat i made there's the large pom-pom so make your hat and then make your pom-pom now you can do it the traditional way i did in the 80s was a piece of cardboard whatever um, circumference you wanted your pom pom and your hat, two pieces uh, cut out, hole in the middle, and be on and go round and round and round. A bit tight when it gets in the middle. Um, I haven't done it for years, and then I'd seen a few on Instagram how to do it, how to make a pom pom. Not a perfectionist yet, but not too bad. That was my first go, and then I found these in a local shop two parts where is it that's it so what i do you're wondering probably why there's weighing scales in the picture i have a hat ready for a pom-pom now like i said this is my first pom-poms with making with the maker pom-pom maker and i see other instagram pom-poms ladies who's made pom-poms and they are perfect so it's taking a bit of practice and what i've found because you put these two together like so yarn goes round and round and round on both sides individually then you close them up And what happens is, I think personally myself, is I've done too much yarn on one side and not enough on the other. Because it feels the same. So what I'm going to put a tip on is, I have electric scales. Turn it on. Because you need, you do need both. You can, that's how it works. I This is what I've found so I get both sides of my pom-pom even. I weigh my pom-pom maker no i weighed that earlier it said 22 now it's saying no 22 so i'm writing it down so i don't have to look at it do it again when i use it and then what i will do is which i'm going to show you anyway is put a certain amount of yarn on one side weigh it and i know it starts at 22 then obviously take that off um so yeah, but that's why this scales in this video is where you, you don't have to, but I just found that a, a good tip. So no matter, so the, the next size down is your pink, 15 grams. So that's the next size down. So I'll put pink, so it's 15 grams and that's empty. And I'll do again, like I've said, I'll do one side do one side and I think that's okay so it'll fill all this in almost to level I'll show you in a minute as I said at the beginning today I'm using Karen Simply Soft this is not sponsored anyway I have two two different pinks so this is a hat that needs a pom-pom on the end so I've done the dark and then I've done the light as the main body. So it doesn't matter how you do, what yarn you use. Um, there is four pom-poms as well. You can use them, I do have some. But I do think it's nice having matching. So what you do is you get whichever one you're using, I'm using the large one, both pieces together. Depending whether you're left-handed or right, I'm right-handed. 
So to get started so it doesn't unravel, start somewhere and then try and get this first tail trapped if you like and go around for a few times. So I'm going to swap hands because I'm right handed. And you want to be doing an even round and round. So you don't want to do it too tight and then do loose. You want to do an even. So it does take a while to get used to doing this. You might have done it in your childhood, like I said, with the cardboard or on the patterns I've been following, like for the two hats I've shown you at the beginning, they um, are showing you how to do it over your hand. And my daughter said you can do it on your on a fork. I think I've tried that. I couldn't get to grips with it. And I've been seeing, as I said, lots of crochets and knitters with lovely round pom-poms on their garments, especially hats. So you want to be even. Now what I'm going to do in a few seconds is change colour, which I haven't done before, as I showed you at the beginning. Oops. I mean, it doesn't matter if, that's, if you leave that, you can cut that off when you're finished because you may have to trim a few little bits. Oops. It is awkward showing because I'm not left-handed, so but obviously I need to put some over this side as well. And just keep going round and round and round. So I'll do a bit more and then I'll show you how I um, when I've snipped off, how I keep it from unravelling. I'll come back in a minute. So I've gone enough ways in one colour. I want to do it, I want to put the pale pink on at some point. So if you have one sticking out, you can snip that right now. So I will do the same. approximate so you don't want this unraveling so what I have learnt to do is this yarn will take a five millimeter hook when I made the hat over there so what I'll do is get a smaller hook so I can get it under the yarn and to keep it where I want it I just pull it through Saves you holding it. Come on, there you go. That's it. So it doesn't matter, it's sticking out a little bit. You can always, I'll show you what I'm going to do. Now I've not done this before, so this is just me doing this first time on video. So I'll start again with the pale pink because I just want a random pom pom. So there's no uniform to this. This is just me doing um, guesswork. So you would normally just use the same colour or as your hat, or you could use a different colour to contrast your hat. Um, like I said, there's no set rules with pom poms. So just move that again. You want to trap your beginning. I'm gonna to have to swap hands, this is a bit awkward. So you want to trap it. Just go round and round. And I've found that the more you do, the better it gets, more even, should I say. The 
again just how you want to your pom-pom to look now you don't want to have too bulky there and now I've, done, I've been caught out a few times so um that's why it seems i'm going very slow because you can sometimes go around and if you're not looking you can catch there then you carry on going round and round and you've got to unravel it so round round right i've covered that most of the way okay snip it off hold that in down get my thinner hook and just tuck it under a strand and then more than not it's not going to unravel and you can put it down say if you had to go and do something else um or you'll give having given yourself a break you can just um there you go pull it down as you can that's it so that's generally covered and then I'm going to do dark on top again. I've finished the one side, tucked it under. Now what I've found is easy for me, I've weighed it for one side. So that's 40. Write it down so I don't forget unless you're good at remembering. But you might go off and do something else, so I'll write it down. The blue pom pom maker went empty, weighed 22, so that's 18 grams of yarn I used on that side. So the clip stuck. So I would put 18 grams of yarn on this side. So what I'm going to do is use the same two colour pinks. But I, I may alternate, it, but I'm not going to put that on camera now because that's that's going to be absolutely boring. And what I'll do is I'll come back when I've when I've filled this one up, I've weighed it, and it's the same amount of yarn. Doesn't matter if it's give or take because you might not have electric scales; you may have just have the regular scales. So it's going to be a little bit. You're not sure if it's exact. Um, and then I'll show you what happens from there. So I've finished both halves. I've done different colour finishing both. So what you need to do is close the maker up and then you clip them in both sides and you will need sharp scissors and you start either side and you need to put your scissors in and you'll go around that groove that you saw. I'll show you with the little ones in the groove. That's why you line up the bubbles to the holes both sides. So that's what it is now with all the yarn on. And then you're cutting around this groove. So like I say, I was only saying to my husband the other day, I need a new pair of scissors because these are not very sharp. So this is what you do all the way around. So you do it all the way around, I'll do it off camera and then come back when I've done this bit. I'm just going to be through the last bit. This one's hard because I've got blunt-ish scissors. So now, this is what it looks like. Now I've just had a thought while doing this, I could have put both strands together, wrapped it around both halves and done the same thing, and then I would have had a, a more variegated like that. I'll do that next time. So what you need is, because obviously you're gonna thread it through the top of your hat, Either, either one, doesn't matter. So I'll use this one, it seems a little bit thinner. Get a good length, maybe 12 inches of so, inches of so or so. And you need to put this down there, like that. 
thread it down. You can see the little bobbles. The other side's got the holes and same on the other side. Go all the way around. And then I'm going to make sure I have a yeah, similar length. So I'm going to tie it. So if you're here, that's the yarn going over the humps. Over those humps and got you want it to tie in the middle. So I found tie once. Don't go too hot, you can feel it. And then pull it round, go to the other side and tie twice. So once again, so it's tight and then to secure that, try and keep your tension on, tie it again. So where's the hinges? Here we are, the clips. Take them off, the clips off. And then you can pull each half away. Two. And give you a pump a little shake. And there you have it. Now if you've got the odd one, don't don't pull them out. Give it a little gentle shake. So in your straddlers, like that, just give it a little haircut to match the rest. And there you have it. Make a pom pom. It's not turned out too bad, has it? Mm. I didn't know what was going to happen with the colour um, scheme with it. So I think that's too bad. I hope you enjoyed this video, this little tutorial on making the um, using pom pom makers to make the pom poms. If you haven't gotten it, I suggest you go on YouTube, uh, not YouTube, internet. Um, there's another one. Go on the internet and uh, purchase some. Some local stores will do them as well. I got mine at a local store. I'm glad I did now. So, from me and Monkey at Planet Crochet, we'll see you on another video. Bye for now.